Part 4 of the movie that really fucked up Thomas and friends, Hiroshima of the Rails. Thomas had just said goodbye to his new chink friend and was about to go tell his friends about it. I need to tell my friends about Hero. We could repair him and he could work on the rails with us. Hooray! Thank you, Thomas! Shut the fuck up, Hero. Ah, Thomas, there you are. Where have you been? Uh, hi, sir. Wait a sec. Is that the surprise for the orphanage that was meant to be built, like, a week ago? Um, I don't know. How long have I been gone? Fucking a week, Thomas. A week. Where have you been? Um, God knows. But, uh, but, uh, I'll have the orphanage. You can start building it. Right, then. Yes, I will. I'll call up the builder as soon as possible. All right, thanks, sir. And I'll, I won't ask for the new one. I'll ask for the old one. The new one looks terrible. I will tell my friends. I must tell my friends. Some really childish dialogue with the retarded kids. Thomas puffed home to his friends. Thomas, where have you been for the last week? In the woods. With who, Thomas? This chink. What does a chink mean? Um, I actually don't know. I think it's a Chinese person. It's not very nice now, is it? No, he's Japanese. Well, it's still not very nice now, is it, Thomas? Shut up, Henry. Gay boy. All right. Anyway. He's in the woods, he's been forgotten about. We should tell the top of my hat about this. I don't... I don't... No, we shouldn't. Why not? For the plot purpose. We're not going to tell the top of my hat that we have an engine. And don't tell Spencer, because he'll probably rape him. Now, I'm going to go see that immigrant in the morning, because I think I might just blow my brakes. How'd you stop? All right. Good night. The next morning, Thomas went to go see the immigrant. Hi there. Thomas puffed in. Uh, hi, Victor. Hello, Thomas, my friend. Victor, we are not friends. Get that in your head. Oh, well, uh, how are you doing this fine day? It's not a fine day, it's, uh, it's rather average, I'd say, you know. Not too hot, not too, uh, not too cold, just, just average. I guess so, but I've been kept here against my will, but I don't know, I've never been outside. Well, good for you, Victor, but, uh, hi, uh, yeah, I think I might have blown my brakes. How'd you stop? Delayed reaction. Oh no, that's what happened. Can you fix them for me? Oh, I can't stop. All right, can you fix my brakes for me, please? Please. Sure, why not? All right, I'm coming. Uh, yay. Thomas's brakes are being fixed. Fucking. There you go, lad. You're good to go. Oh yeah. All right, thanks, Victor. And uh, can I have those? Why? For a secret school project. Do you even go to school? God knows. Can I please have them? Oh, what the fuck not? I, I don't know. Sharon Miller was stupid. She just she just let anything go by. Thank you. So Thomas set off to give Hero the new parts, but without a fucking brake van. And apparently his driver and fireman know how to professionally, professionally like, know how to repair an engine now, but who gives a fuck? Sharon Miller was stupid. So let's just go. Go with the, go with the flow.